Welcome back to The Division 2. In this video, I want to talk to you about skill builds and different things you can do to actually make them and put one together because the most common build at the moment is DPS. Crit chance and crit damage with a Baker's Dozen or the classic M1A. There are other builds out there that are maybe even less viable, but I thought we'd try a skill build seeing as I loved them pre-Warlords. But bear in mind when we look at this, this isn't the best build, this isn't something that I necessarily would say to run. This is just something I've put together and I'm personally comfortable with and I'm going to give you some tips, like some pointers, as to how you can put different sort of skill builds together. So, taking a look at the build, I am still running the Baker's Dozen with the Pestilence as my secondary, although there's not much gunfire and is mainly focused on your skills because my Baker's Dozen normally deals around 564,000 and you can see on this build it's, it's pretty much the 40% nerf they did that they reverted. But taking a look at the build, I'm running three piece hardwired because I don't actually want feedback loop and then I have one piece Alp Summit I have one piece Murakami, and I have one piece Wyvernware. This was literally using the things that were in my stash, so there are different brand sets you can use for different things, because it's a damage skill build, yet Alps gives you repair skills. So there are several different brand sets you can use, and the reason I'm running Hardwired is because for the three piece, you get 15% skill haste for two piece, and then you get skill damage and repair skills as well. And not only that is very easy to roll because a lot of it only comes with one attribute. So there's 10% which is God Rolled Skill Damage on that piece. On the knee pads you have the God Rolled Skill Haste. I've tried putting it a mixture between Skill Haste and Skill Damage with this build. And trust me it's nowhere near perfect. But this is still capable of doing missions and content in New York and clearing heroic stuff in DC. I haven't actually tried anything heroic in New York. So the very first piece is hardwired, the mask, you've got god rolled skill damage and 11.2% skill haste, which was actually in the form of a mod. Then going over to the backpack, it's percussive maintenance because you get perfect tech support, skill kills increase total skill damage by 25% for 27 seconds. If I could get another one of these and get higher skill haste as an attribute it would be nice, but it doesn't matter too much, we've got extra skill haste through the mod. And then going down to the chest, we have 12% skill haste, 10% skill damage, and then I don't have too many utility mods, so 9.7% skill haste. But the talent on the chest is spark, damaging enemies with a skill increases total weapon damage by 15% for 15 seconds. So if I do need to fire my gun, then I just deal a little bit of damage with a skill, and that is going to help out. On the gloves, they are the second piece of hardwired that comes with the skill damage. Then moving down to the holster. We have the near perfect Wyvern wear piece, you get the skill damage on the brand set, you get 11.9% skill haste on this and 10% skill damage. And then the knees to finish it off, we do have the 12% skill haste. We go into the actual skills and running the sniper turret. It has a 9.9 .9 second cooldown, it lasts a hell of a long time. It's got 5.5 million health and it deals nearly 2.5 million damage. I tested this out in New York and it was actually dealing 3 mil damage per shot. It also has 15 ammo before you need to put it onto cooldown. And then because it's tier 6 with the skills, we get 90% extra damage, more sniper ammo, and you get a lot of health for it. And then over on the second one, we've got the Cluster Seeker Mine. We have a 24.8 second cooldown. They've only got 200k health, but they don't really get shot. 2.1 million damage across 10 mines. So that's 21.3 mil damage. But at the same time, I do think these need working on because the Seekers don't work as efficiently as they should. Enemies are always combat rolling out of the way. And sometimes the Seekers don't actually seek enemies and they just come straight back to you. But for tier 6 with the skill tier, we get 6 extra cluster mines and 60% bonus damage. There are a couple of mods on there, but they're not very good. Because all the utility stuff I had, I just gave to Pete because I wasn't really interested in skill builds. And what we're going to do, I was going to run a mission, but I don't want this video to be super, super long. So when you're going for a skill build, you don't need to worry too much about getting, like, because if you're going for a DPS build, you have to try and get the god rolled weapon damage. Skill tier is just basic. You get plus one skill tier across all six pieces of your gear. So that's a simple start. And then depending what you're wanting your build for is where all the different attributes come in and the brand sets. Like, make sure you pay attention to the brand sets. 
but mainly with if you're going to be running an aggressive sort of offensive build then you'd want to go for skill damage and skill haste skill haste is going to work on your cooldowns and then obviously damage speaks for itself but if you're running a let's just say you're a healer and you've got the restorer hive and stuff on then you would go instead of the skill damage you would go for repair skills and i would still put some skill haste in there for your cooldowns but i would focus more on actually getting your skill damage or your repair skills up over the skill haste just so that they do a better job when they are active and all we're going to do is just take down this named boss just so you can see the build and the fact that it doesn't like there's not a lot of risk of going down and is that a purple oh no that's the actual boss if i chuck my seekers as well with a red bar it's normally a one shot and you can see i'm i'm getting armor hits for three mil that was a one shot on that guy the boss is dead Shotgunners, even elite shotgunners, are a one-shot. And I need that guy to pop up. Or you. Which one's going to pop up? There you go. There's all the armor and half the health gone. And there are ways to get extra skill damage and stuff out of these sorts of builds. That one's actually running off. But you would have seen, I didn't take a single bit of damage. I was like, it does get boring using the skill build. You have to sit behind cover. It's a really, really passive way to play the game. But you saw the damage I was dealing. If you're running in a group, I would highly recommend you have at least one player running a skill build. Just because even though they're nowhere near as viable, you saw the damage I was dealing. So if there is a red bar... In a group, it's obviously going to scale up, so your 3 million damage with your sniper shot won't one-tap a red bar necessarily, but they are very fun builds. If you're sick and tired of DPS being everywhere, then I would definitely recommend at least trying one, because you might not be able to clear heroic, you might not be able to clear challenging, it might be tough getting used to the builds, and it's just a different way to play the game, because at the moment, everything is DPS. Literally, the entire game is based around the Baker's Dozen and the Classic M1A. I don't know why I run over here, so if we go back to my stash, if we look at some of the other stuff you could run, you've got Murakami, which is skill duration, repair skills, and skill damage if you've got the three-piece. Then you've got, you can get status effects if you've got one piece of Golan gear. You've got Hana Yu, which is skill haste and skill damage. That would be good to run the two-piece. You've got explosive damage on a two-piece of Grupo Sombra. You've got incoming repairs, explosive resistance, and repair skills. So maybe if you could get Richter and Kaiser to drop with some reds, and you've got that equipped, and then someone else in your group has a repair skills like healing build, then that's going to help with incoming repairs. There's a lot of different ways you can do it, but they are very easy to put together, especially if you make a hybrid. And you go with the hardwired because all you've got to do is farm the targeted loot for gear sets and you'll get this stuff to drop. And nine times out of ten it just comes with one attribute so you can just re-roll it as long as you've got the stuff in your library. But two pieces gives you 15% skill haste and then one more piece is going to give you bonus repair skills and bonus skill damage. So I, I would recommend at least try in a three-piece hardwired hybrid. But I'm going to leave the video there. And remember, this isn't an amazing like build that I've spent months and months on. I literally threw it together with stuff in my stash. And it took me about five minutes to come up with the idea of how to put it together. And I've done missions, I've done control points, and it works very well, even with solo play. But what I want you guys to do is let me know in the comments skill builds that you've put together, what you've run, how much damage you can deal with the Seekers and with the Sniper, and basically let me know the potential these skill builds have. Because if I was to put more time into them, I could get more damage, get better skill haste, cooldowns would be quicker, I'd be packing more of a punch, but on that note, that's going to do it for this video. I will see you soon with more Division 2 content. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.